fall back and form up. Don't let them scatter us. Uh, easier said than done. Their cavalry is riding right over us. Hell no. We can hold our ground. I'll show you how a real Feroxy fights, woman. <laughs> Did I hear a crack in your voice? Is that fear in your eye? Never. Let's give these kettleheads a taste of our own barbarian roots. <laughs> now that's the oaf I love. Huh? Enemy soldiers there. Hold on, they're swatting our troops like flies. Is it some kind of elite cavalry? No, wait. Gods, it's just one man! What? You there! Do you command these forces? Oh no. Such strength is he even human. Impressive. You are the first since Yenfei to survive beyond a single stroke. I so I don't stand a chance. Flavia, everyone, run! Run for your lives! I'm not leaving you here. He's a demon woman. I can only keep him busy while you escape. Ugh. Gods, looks like the last was right. I think not. I'm here, and that means events can be changed. How dare you, Ove? You're not getting away from me that easily. Basilo! Flavia, give this to Krom. Is this the gemstone? Right. You have to survive. Give it to him. Give it to him yourself, you one-eyed clod of a man! I'm not going anywhere, and neither are you! Hell no! Fool woman! I'm finished! Don't let it for nothing for once in your life just do what I say go go God start it go Well, I chose a really poor episode to lose the audio on. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we were told of an unfortunate future that would result in Basila losing his life. We warned him about it, but he didn't take our advice to heart, and... I guess we're gonna have to accept the consequences now. Though these characters don't even know of that yet, so let's just focus on the here and now, which is a new chapter, possibly, but we might have something new to do today. First, we're gonna go check out the barracks, and we got a whole bunch of stuff to go through. First off, we have... Uh, good morning, Robin. Need a little break? Yes, I do need a little break. I've been working way too hard on the stinking LP. Well, not way too hard, just like... I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is being done in post commentary because for whatever reason, I this is the only episode of the LP that I didn't save the audio or export it or whatever. So that's really unfortunate that that happened. So 
I'm gonna have to do the supposed commentary. But because of that, I'm actually gonna be mixing things up a bit. I'll, uh, you'll see what I mean a bit more when we get into things. But right now we're just uh, still going through the Baroques and we're still having long coup segments. Uh, you got Tiki's Tear, okay. Not sure what that's doing here or how it's a physical object, but whatever. Dragons are so cool, they cry out stones or something like that. That's probably what happens. And we got Owain and Cherish. Even the chairs of our needs a day of rest. How do you feel your spare time? I try to wash and mend our clothes. Fashion like this is hard to come by. Such a weird duo of characters. Uh, the audio sounds a little bit different because I'm using the Yeti for this post commentary thing when normally I was recording on the laptop uh, and using the a different headset for that. Um, the reason I'm not using the headset on here is because I'm recording on the Mac now because it's just easier and more accessible and whatnot because I edit on the Mac and the headset does not work on the Mac for whatever reason because life is just never sinking easy. So whatever. But now that's taken care of, we could go ahead and get out of here and check out our supports. We got a couple of them. We got Robin and Frederick rank B. Let's check that one out. Hello, Robin. I've thought about your previous offer. Yeah. The favor? Oh, good. What'll it be? Just say the word. Well. I recall seeing you eat bear with great relish shortly after we first met. I should like you to teach me the skill. Eating bear, that is. Oh. I remember that night. Lissa was in a froth. Said it smelled like old boots, was it? Wait, so you didn't eat any either? I fear I've rarely been able to choke down wild game, and bear least of all. But as the war grows harsher, I can no longer afford to be picky. There may come a day when bear is the only food available to us. Best I train to overcome my aversion now when our situation is not so dire. I see. True, and even the finest night isn't much use on an empty stomach. Alright then, you're on! Let's get you eating some bear! My thanks. I will train till I can consume anything without concern for taste or de go rum, whatever that is. Like an animal or a savage or like you, Robin. <laughs> what the fruit? Yes. Uh, Robin, did I say something wrong? Hey. Um, no, nothing. Don't worry about it. So, Frederick, you don't have a problem with some more common meats, do you? Beef and pork are fine. I also enjoy a good chicken on occasion. Oh. Then let's start simple. Take a bite of this jerky. Of course. I shall tear into it with gusto. Munch, munch, my lord. Blah, gamey, so gamey. What, blah, what is this? Right. It's bear. Leftovers from the same bear we ate that night, in fact. I saved some. Uh, healer! I need a healer! <laughs> Animal are savage indeed. How rude of him. Guess he wasn't joking about his aversion to bear, though. Jeez, Robin, that was like 20 stinking episodes ago and you still have that? I don't think it's fresh anymore. But anyway, we now have the final support system. We finally have the final support conversation for Long Ku and Pain. It was a very difficult decision trying to decide who to pair Long Ku up with, but... I feel like I'm going to be very content with this one, and I hope all of you will be as well. So without further ado, let's see how their story wraps up. Hmm. Here for another dose of Pain's Potion? Sit tight while I make it. No, actually, I thought I'd offer my own brew, elderberry and tea leaves from Ferox. There's no better tea in all the lands. Well. If you are so confident, I suppose I must have some. Why, this is good. Right. You know, it's funny. You. What is? <sighs> Whenever I talk to you, a warm and fuzzy feeling comes over me. I'd assumed that it was because of your potion, and because you're quite fuzzy. But I have the same feeling right now, and I haven't touched a drop. Right. Now that you mention it, I feel the same way. No. There's no medicine in that brew. Just Ferox's finest tea leaves. Yes. And it certainly is delicious. I could drink this every day. <clears throat> if we were to spend more time together, I would make you a cup every morning. 
Hmm. Are you implying what I think you are, human? Hmm. Talk well or human, it matters not to me. You are just the woman I love. <laughs> Things have changed since we first met. Remember how afraid you were? I do, but I'm not anymore. Pain, will you accept this ring? As you wish. A bribe to spice the proposal. Such a typical human custom. But I know you speak from the heart, and so I accept. You're the first human I've known who makes me forget about the past. And for that, I shall be eternally yours. Long Ku and Pain have obtained the ultimate bond. When trying to decide who to pair Long Ku up with, I was stuck with a lot of different choices because he has a lot of good conversations with a lot of different characters, but I decided to settle with Pain because she is another character that I very much adore, and having her get paired up with someone also results in a very happy ending for her and a conclusion to her story, which is very important to me. Because now, as we enter this new paralogue that is opened up to us, now that we have Pain married to another character, we can now see that she is no longer going to be the last of her kind. Turn around and get lost, swine! This land belongs to the Stonewall Knights! If you need a second notice, I'll write it down on your men's corpses. Yeah, a pile of corpses could still outfight you, sorry lot. This is our territory, and no one gives orders to the Riders of Dawn. Hmm? What do you make of that? My lord. Mercenaries from the look, rival bands squabbling over some petty manner. A common enough sight in these dark times, my lord. But it seems to be bloodletting. The nearby villagers will pay for it. Right. Then let's make sure it doesn't. <laughs> Stick em full of holes, boys! Time to fertilize the fields, soldiers! <laughs> well, diplomacy is probably out. Ah. Seems our best option is to end the fighting as quickly as possible. Allying ourselves with one side or the other would certainly expedite things. <sighs> a band of riders or a band of knights? Time to make our choice. Hey, it's Fire Emblem Fates before Fire Emblem Fates was Fire Emblem Fates, and it turns out to be an even better game than Fire Emblem Fates ever was and never will be. Okay, but yeah, seriously, I like how basically the entirety of that game is just this one paralogue. Makes you question which game is better, except not really because this one's obviously better, but no. Fates does have some good stuff about it, just that like, it's sad really how much of a downfall it is from awakening and whatnot but whatever uh what are we even doing here we're gonna be doing some setup stuff so because i've lost all my commentary i'm going to be doing something a bit different that i wasn't planning on doing for this lp i already said that like i feel kind of bad that i wasn't able to show off all of the child units in this lp because uh if you have a female robin and have her marry crom you outright cannot get all the child units in this game and even if i did uh, have her paired up with someone else, I probably wouldn't have wanted to put in the time to uh, level out all those other characters that I'm not using and give them all children and all that jazz just because like they really wouldn't end up getting used at all. But I still wanted to show off these characters and not just like have them be cliff notes or whatever. So because I don't have the commentary for this episode ever so conveniently, and it's in a paralogue that involves a child unit ever so conveniently once again, I'm going to be doing something a bit different in which, uh, after we meet up with the child unit in this chapter, I will show you some footage of the dialogue segments of the paralogues that we won't be doing, and you'll get to see those child units and the conversations they have with their parents. We're not going to be showing off the entire uh, battle segment because I don't have all that recorded. I'm actually going to be uh, borrowing, I guess, some footage from YouTube from other people who've already done this. But I'm actually going to be showing off that and just having it voice acted so you guys could see it. More cell swords? Ha! Your timing is right impeccable. I'll buy your steel and see you're well compensated for your trouble. Right. Well, Robin, shall we back the knights? 
assist the red army so you do get different rewards depending on which side you choose it could be either or you could side with this one or the other one and you'll get different stuff for it i'm gonna say no to the red army though any minute now any minute now come on past midnight this is the problem with doing post commentary you never know what past you exactly did we just have to wait here ever so boringly i probably gave the old the entire introduction spiel of like what happens right here and now instead of like pacing it out throughout the rest of the dialogue just waiting right here okay come on seriously past midnight why the fruit are you so difficult oh maybe i'm the difficult one because i can't adapt to what's already done and like i couldn't have watched this footage beforehand so i could have prepared for this and given you the explanation as to what is going on in this paralogue right now anyway Oy. and i know as soon as i do it then it's gonna immediately click on the no the no E? I don't think a no E. I'm really grasping for straws. Press the A button already! Oh my god, really? Are you serious? Okay, movement, movement. Press it, press it. Come on, you can do it! You can do it, Midnight! Who's a good little last player who forgot to press the attack sport button on the recording? Yes, you are! My, my cat thinks I'm talking to <laughs> because I was talking to the cute face. Hi, cat. Oh my god, what the fruit? Why is this happening? Why is everything so difficult? Can you just do it? Heh. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll explain it. You could choose either the red army, the blue army, or neither. It's just like Fire Emblem Fates. All three options give you different rewards, but if you choose neither, then you have to fight both of them, and it's really stinking difficult. But it's the best reward. I'll have the other rewards on screen in case you want to know what they are. But whatevs, it doesn't matter because I just want as much experience as humanly possible and I don't really care about item rewards. You get the unit reward all the same. It does not matter which unit you have. I must have walked away or something. There must have been... Oh, there must have been, like, something where I... I think I'm getting, like, a flashback. Like, I got interrupted and I literally walked out of the recording. Okay, I'm gonna cut away then. Give me a second. I don't know how long this is gonna go for. It's a good thing I skipped ahead, because I was on the screen for another five stinking minutes. My god. Yarhar, that's a sensible lad. Come fight with us instead. I'll pay you twice what that fool would. This is Robin. Oh, it's a green army. Excuse me. Oh, we're the blue army. should have known. What? So it's neither, is it? Which means you aim to fight them both? If you say no here, then you just go through the options all over again. Yes, we're going to fight both armies, and I'm going to regret it. I should have known. Are you sure about this? There may be more of them hiding, you know. But I'll leave the final choice up to you. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. Are you ready? So be it. Shepherds to arms. Hello. Hello. Oh boy, so the child unit, Yarn, got a very funny name, but what we gotta do is just make it over to him with uh, the mother unit, which is Pain, of course, and we will be able to get him on our side. If he dies before we get there, though, uh, or if you accidentally kill him or whatever, you do not recruit him, so let's get over here right away and not even have to worry about that. You. That scent, it smells like, oh, you there. Yeah! What do you want? Well... You are a Togwell. What? Yeah, well, so are... God's mother? Mother? God, you nearly gave me a heart failure. I'd given up on ever finding you. You wouldn't believe how dangerous it is here. All those swords and brigands. Anyway, I found you. That makes the trip back in time worth it. Right. So you came with that man spawn Lucina, did you? Hmm... Explain to me why my son consorts with common thugs. Hmm. Huh? Hey, I didn't have a choice in the matter. You were nowhere to be found, and roaming around alone is a recipe for... extinction. I figured I'd be safe if I took up with some strong allies, and so I... Wait, are you angry? Because you look kind of angry. <gasps> of course I am angry! No son of mine will survive by taking the path of the coward. I can't believe she said that. You're coming with me. I'm going to teach you some Togwell pride starting right now. And now he has joined us. We can control him. How wonderful. 
But now that's taken care of, I'm going to completely disregard this battle because it goes off for a really long stinking time and I get a game over, so I have to do it for even longer than intended. So I'm just going to switch this fight over to the small screen, and on the big screen we will show off the uh, dialogue segments of all the paralogues we will not be doing in this LP, just so you can see all the child units. Hope you enjoy! Why do mountains have to be so steep? Here, have some water. Thank you, Olivia. You're a lifesaver. Oh, hardly. I just flail around and pretend to dance, mostly. Anyway, I've started looking for new ways to be useful. Your dancing is spectacular. It never fails to pick me up. I dance like a ham someone rolled down the stairs. Just thinking of people watching me makes me cringe. We're near the bandits' camp, Robin. They've ravaged surrounding towns with impunity for too long. It ends today. Right. Not today, rogue. Lord. All safe now, Buttercup. I Inigo? The crime part is over, love. Now give us a smile. Right. And perhaps a wink if a fellow can be greedy. Inigo, you stupid fool! That bandit you slew has... Dozens of friends who will be terribly cross with me? I... Worry not, I'll mop up that lot of them and be back in time for tea. You mustn't, they'll kill you! Ho oh, ho ho! Don't be silly, I never let anyone ruin this perfect face. Surely you want them gone as well, yes? so that you may rebuild in peace. Of course, but... Then let us have no more frowns. A smile like yours is not a treasure to be locked in the king's dungeons. I'll meet you in town once I've sorted these pesky bandits. Perhaps then we could discuss my reward. <laughs> Their hold is just ahead. It should be... Wait, what's that? Gods, that man is fighting them alone. Come, let's lend him a hand. Uh, are you alright? Yeah! What's wrong? S sorry sorry you just surprised me. I'd say we're even on that count. I shouldn't have shouted, but... Uh, yes... Can we please start over? <laughs> it was your ravishing beauty that caught me so off guard, my lady. I don't quite know how to reply to that. Uh, please don't look at me so intently. It makes me terribly bashful. What? Wait, don't go! Drat, he's gone. He totally stole my line, too. Still, it's weird. I didn't have a problem talking to him. Maybe his shyness countered my own? Well then, I should think five kills would be enough to impress a single village girl. Though six might earn me a sweet kiss. Hmm, that is tempting. That's the last of the bandits. The hold is reclaimed. The villagers will sleep better for our good works, my lord. I can't begin to thank you, good sir. Actually, Inigo did most of the heavy lifting on this one. He's so terribly brave. 
part of me wishes I could have been there to witness it. Er, but yes, please accept this gift from all of us villagers. Your kindness flatters me. If bandits ever trouble you again, you need but call and we'll come running. Rebuilding a town is hard work, but I trust you'll be just fine. We'll do our best. Um, Olivia, might I have a word with you? What? With me? Why? Wait, how did you know my name? A little bird tweeted it out, so is that a yes? Um, alright, I guess. Er, yes. You see, what I mean to say is... Goodness, this is much harder than chatting up other girls I've met. I suppose it would be quickest to just show you this. M my ring? But... But I'm wearing it. How did you... Indeed. How does Inigo have your ring when there is only one in all the world? Unless it is your ring and I brought it back from the future! What? You mean... like Lucina? Exactly. I knew my mother was a dancer, you see. So I've been scouring the land looking for all the dancers I could find. Not the worst job in the world, mind you. <laughs> but now I've finally found you, mother, and my dancing is all the better for it. Oh, you dance? Er, sort of, yes. That is to say, I try my best. But some people don't appreciate male dancers. Not that I care. I'm content to just shake my hips for the ladies. Oh, don't listen to them. I think it's wonderful. I'd love to watch you dance sometime. No, impossible! I'd be far too embarrassed for that. Besides, I'd rather watch you dance. What? No, I couldn't possibly! I'm shyer than you are, Mother! You are not! Would you two stop it already? Now I'm the one who's getting embarrassed. At last, tea time has arrived. We're leaving, Inigo. What? Right now? But tea time! War is heck, Inigo. Now come with us or be left behind. Fine, fine, I'm coming. I suppose there'll be more buttercups blooming along the road ahead. There's nothing like war for the self-made man, no sir. The strong rise to the top while the highborns try to keep the blue blood inside him. Hold, Defiler! This is sacred ground! Your wickedness will be punished! By who? The same gods that abandoned me when I was a starving boy? When you see the gods, tell them I said they can rot! <laughs> Dastard! I'll gut you for that! Brady, no! There's nothing you can do! Who would tend to the injured if we lost you? But... We'll fight as best as we're able. 
You help from the rear lines. Ugh. Good people are dying and I can't help! If only I could fight! Right. Krom, we have to hurry! What's wrong, Maribel? There are people fighting just over that ridge! Lots of people! They look like they need help. Let's go, Shepherds! <sighs> help us! Please! The temple's beset by marauding bandits! Don't you worry, we're happy to help. If there's one thing this world needs less of, it's wretched bandits. Wait, I know that voice. Is that... Ma? <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's her! That's gotta be her! Pardon me, you mannerless cur! I'll not stand to be laughed at by a base scoundrel of your ilk! Yep, and that clinches it. You must be Maribel. And just how do you know that? Do you leer at me from behind the shades or whatever den of inquity you frequent? Hm, I bid you good day. I guess you've, I guess you've always been like this. Still, it's good to see you again. And now that I found you, I'm afraid you're stuck with me. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You've kept this sacred place safe and spared the lives of those within. We just did what was right. Would that everyone be so... Would that everyone were... What? Would that everyone were so brave? Please, allow me to give you this. Hey, Ma. What did you call me? The name's Brady. I'm... I'm sorry, but I only cure physical ailments, broken bones and the like. You're clearly a deeply troubled individual whose diseased mind is beyond my healing. Stop talking for a minute and look at this! That's... my ring! Then that makes you... Right, like I was trying to say, I'm... A thief! A rapscallion! A common lowborn cut purse! How dare you sneak in here and steal my prized possessions! God, stop interrupting for one blessed second and check your ring! You're no warrior. Oh, it's still here. That clear things up any ma? Everything save how I gave birth to a common thug. Oh, come on, Ma, that's harsh. Sure, I'm not the prettiest guy around, but I'm no thug. I am your son. And it's good to see you. How did I ever permit my child to grow up referring to me as Ma? You gave up trying after a decade or so. Well, can you at least ride? Have you read the classics? Do you play violin? Chess? Yeah, all the above. You beat all that junk into me. Glory be, my son is salvageable after all. Uh, thanks? Don't look so forlorn, dear. You've come a long way, but Mother's here now. I'll take care of things from now on. I missed you so much, Ma. Do not even think of crying! It does not befit one of your station. Plus, you'll set me off as well. 
Sorry, I just... I... Oh, Mom! Oh, Brady! Oh, brother. I was hoping he would say that. Dishonorable Kerr, you killed my master, and now you will face me. If that pile of pudding was your master, I'd advise you to just keep walking. Craven Dog, you claimed a hostage he'd never have lost in a fair fight. Nor would he have wanted this, Kedgel. If I lose you as well, I... You won't lose me, I swear it. And I swear your husband will be avenged. If you want to run headlong into the grave, girl, I won't stop you. We can duel in the ruins ahead. What do you make of this, Krom? I hope she knows what she's getting into. Sir, please, you have to do something. What's the matter? It's my friend, sir. I fear she's walking into a terrible trap. That scoundrel Cassius would never fight an honest duel. My husband took a similar stand against his tyranny not long ago. The brute took a girl hostage and then cut my husband down as he lowered his weapon. <laughs> I can't let her suffer the same fate. I die, I would. All right, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Coward, you promised me a duel, you soulless Blackheart. Indeed, I did. Consider all these men my seconds. Heh. <laughs> Still, I'm not a monster. I'll spare your life if you get on your knees and beg. I'd sooner die. Well, we can arrange that too. Have at her, boys. Hey, you got a second? <gasps> what? I got something on my face? No, you just remind me of someone. Forgive me, I have no time to talk. Don't worry, it won't take long. So listen, these lowlifes have no honor. You know that, right? If you meet him head on, you'll just end up in a sword in your back. Head on is how I live. Oh, I like you. And that's all the more reason I can't let you charge off on your own. Don't try to stop me. I'm not stopping you, I'm coming with you. You just focus on finishing your duel, and I'll kill any idiot who gets in your way. Right. If you believe in any gods, you better pray to them now. My, my, aren't we confident? And isn't the line, pick a god and pray? I don't fear you, coward. I, I suppose not. Most fools assume that liars and sneaks like me are weak. They want us to be weak, see? They need it. It lets them hold on to the fantasy that right prevails in the end. Yeah, they can think all they want. A cocky fool of a target. Truth is, in the end, it's the clever ones who always survive. A man who takes hostages in order to win a duel has no claim to cleverness. Even an animal would not stoop so low. But enough! I've no more words to waste on the likes of you. My master will have vengeance. Wrong, girl. Your master will have company. Ketchel, thank the gods you're safe. I kept my promise. Your husband can rest in peace now. I may have a way to thank you. This was his, and I'm sure he would have wanted you to have it. This is a precious keepsake. It's rightful places with you. I'll not forget my husband for lack of a memento, dear. Now please, take it. You're certain? 
Absolutely. Then, thank you. Just swear to take care of yourself, Kedjil. Swear you'll stay safe. I swear it. Looks like the good guys won after all. Ain't that a kick in the teeth? Thank you for your help, but I fear other tasks yet lie ahead of me. I still have yet to find my parents. Oh man, your parents are missing? That's rough, kid. Any idea where they might have gone? I have a ring my father gave my mother, but precious little else to go on. Mind if I take a look? No, of course not. Well, what do you know? Kid, this is my ring. Your ring? But then... Ha! I get it. You're one of the kids who came back with Lucina, yeah? Which means, I've got a new lead for you on your parent front, kiddo. I'm your mom. You? You expecting someone prettier? N no of course not! I mean... You look as beautiful now as when I knew you. Ha! <laughs> So I'm not all wrinkled or missing a hand or anything? That's a relief. You were a beautiful and vibrant woman, despite the ill times we lived in. You taught me how to be strong. You taught me to survive. Alright kid, sit down. I want to know every last detail about the future. You bet. Is that how you address your mother? I mean, yes. Yes, ma'am. Much better. <laughs> you were always... You always were tough on me. That's right. Any child of mine is gonna have to learn to respect their elders. It's good to see you, mother. Quite the bustling little town. The harvest must have just come in. I wager there's some good eating to be had. Count me in! It's been days since I had a proper meal! Be Welcome to the Grub Shack! You're... You're... Um... Terribly sorry, sir, but we're closed. That was... odd. I guess we'll try elsewhere. This place looks open, father. Oh, they have pottage. Hmm? But please not again! We'll be ruined! This tavern is all we have! Mercy, sirs! Leave us in peace! People here don't seem to like us very much. I did a little investigating on that front, my lord. It seems a band of nasty rogues have been harrying them without pause for some time. Apparently, they are led by a man who masquerades as you. Oh, so that's what this is about. Any idea where they are? It seems they're headed north, my lord. Then so shall we. <laughs> Another fine haul. Long live the great Krom! Krom? Father? Father? Pegasus Knight Cynthia, return from patrol, sir! Whoops! 
Oh, right on the face. Sorry for my clumsiness, sir. I promise not to trip again for at least 24 hours. That'd be a new record. Now out with a girl. What'd you see? A suspicious band of travelers have been making inquiries in town, sir. Oh? They call their leader Krom, sir. I suspect they are imposters posing as you. They must be stopped at once, father. Cynthia, why did I say... What did I say about calling me that around the men? So sorry, father. I mean, Krom, my lord, it won't happen again. Your mind is nearly as slippery as your feet. Anyway, we uh, don't have the men to battle this imposter right now. Best swallow our pride and exercise the better part of valor for now. Level-headed and humble as ever, sir. Allow me to draw their attention while you retreat to safety. Yes, yes, of course. A fine plan. I won't let you down, sir. Gad, she's dumb as a brick. Good thing her spear is sharper than her wit. Still, at least she stopped ranting about healing from the future. And you are? All who would pretend to be Krom's name will answer to me for their deceit. Lay down your arms and surrender, or face judgment at my spear. Well, she certainly seems eager. What do you think, Robin? If she's being honestly deceived, we may be able to show her the truth. Enough! In the name of my Lord Krom, cast down your sword or draw it! Hmm, a band of mercenaries. Luck smiles on me today. A few pretty lies and I'll have the lot of them fighting for me. Help! I am Krom, ruler of Ulysse. I'm being hunted by brigands. If you help me, I'll see to it that you're handsomely rewarded. Hold fast until I give the word. The moment they clear that rubble, fall on them like an avalanche. Still your spear for a moment and hear me out. You've been lied to. Spare me your tales, brigand. I have nothing to say to someone who would impersonate my father. Your what? Oh, for the love of... How many daughters are going to come back in time to see me? Huh? How did you know I... I already went through this with Lucina. Lucy's here? In the flesh, though she's neglected to mention she had a sister. Wait, then you really are? Oh, father! I missed you so much! My, my ears! I knew something was fishy with that guy. He barely even smiled when I found him. My real father would have given me a big hug and called me his little Pegapony princess. Please tell me I never actually say that. You'll say it right now if you want me to believe you're the real Krom. Um, it's... It's good to see you, my... Um, my little Pega Pony princess. Aw, it's good to see you too, father. I can't believe I fell for that lying creep's lies. Oh, I'm going to kill him for that! I'm going to plant a flying hoof right up his stupid lying face! She's even fightier than her mother. I didn't think that was possible. That's the last of them. We can explain the truth to those mercenaries as we tend their wounds. Frankly, I'm shocked that scoundrel had the audacity to impersonate you, my lord. Not the worst of his crimes, I'm sure. It is unacceptable, my lord. I have clearly failed at my duties as a knight. I shall draft a series of portraits and see that copies are distributed to all. I suppose you tried. 
Never again shall someone mistake the noble visage of my Lord Crom for... Uh, Frederick, let's just go. Do you have a moment, Sumia? Oh, hello. You're the girl from... before. Er... Cynthia! My name is Cynthia! What a darling name. I know! I've always loved it! It was a gift from my mother. From you. What? Me? But I... I've never seen... Oh, but you will! Isn't that great? I came from the future, mother! See? Our reigns match up in everything! It's cause you gave it to me. Or you will, I mean, later. Before I come back here. But after I... God, this is confusing. You... you're my daughter? I sure am. I've missed you so, mother. Come here, give me a hug. Whoops! <laughs> oh, that one's gonna bruise. Er, don't worry about me, I'm fine. Well, we're definitely related. Hold on, you dropped something. A spearhead? Sorry, I'll take that back. Why are you carrying that around? Because it hasn't been made yet. You promised we you promised me we'd make it together. I did. But you broke your promise the day the day you never came home. How could you leave me, mother? You were a legend. You were invincible. Wait, are you saying I died? I'm so sorry, love. I guess I'm not much of a legend after all. You are to me. I may not be invincible, but at least I was blessed with a wonderful child. Had we decided what sort of half to give the spear? We could pick up the materials in the next town. We can? I made a promise, didn't I? Oh, oh, mother, I love you. This can't go on, Elder. We barely have enough to get by as it is. Their leader is a former Valmy's general. We'll be crushed if we resist. What's that about, Valm? Who are you? My name is Krom. The ruler of Yelisi! Elder, he may be able to help us! Um, I can hear you. But tell me your problem and I'll see what I could do. Oh, thank you, sir! Urgent news, sir. Armed soldiers approach. Their leader claims to be Krom of Ulysses. Darn it! Why would he come here? Well, if they insist on dogging me, I've got hounds of my own to welcome them with. I'm not your dog, scum. No, only a stray mud that refuses to stop yapping. But you'll be a good dog and do as I say if you ever want. Yes, yes, if I ever want to see it again, I'm well aware. I trust you're equally aware of your position, Holland. Loquacious as ever, I see. You'll fight for me, or I'll have that lazy ton pried from your head. Now then, 
Crom may have the Fire Emblem in his possession. And if I claim that, I've practically claimed the throne. So go out there, kill anything that moves, and get me the Fire Emblem. Looks like this is the castle the villagers told us about. Let's reclaim what's been stolen and return it to the villagers. All this grief over something so small. Once I get what I came for, I'm out of here. Maybe I can convince Holland to come with me. Oh god, it's you! Have we met? If so, I'm afraid I've quite forgotten. Well, excuse me for being so forgettable! Look, there's no time for this. If you're a friend, speak now. If not, then stay out of Krom's way or I'll have to cut you down. Krom, 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 it's always Krom with you! I'm sorry? You should be! And I don't care about your stupid Krom, so you could just drop it! I only want to talk to Holland. Holland? Yes, Holland! That sad sack over there! Watch my back so I can get to him safely, and then I'll help your stupid army. Uh, okay... Oh, and Holland's not here of his own will, so don't you dare hurt him! Holland! Severa, what are you doing here? If he knows you left your post... I'm leaving, Holland, and you're coming with me. Severa, I... I can't. You know I can't. I have a wife. If I don't earn Nelson's coin, she'll starve. I know it's blood money, but... Your wife is pregnant, Holland! You know that, don't you? Of course I know that, and it's none of your concern. Do you love your child, Holland? Do you love your wife? Of course I do. Then stop making excuses. I know that parents will do anything for their children. But I also know how it feels when the child loses her parents. This world's got far too many kids who've gone through that. If you stay, you'll be killed or worse, and your child deserves better. Severa, I... I'm sorry, I didn't know. That must have been hard for you. You're right. My child deserves better. Let's get out of here. Really? Yes, really. But we have to hurry! You've saved the village from starvation! You're a true hero of the people, sir! Yes! Here it is! Is that a rain? It's my reign, and I'll thank you to stop staring so lustily at it. It's worth more than anything in the world to me. That rat Nelson stole it one night while I was sleeping. Well, I'm glad you were able to get it back. <laughs> oh, you. What do you want? Just to thank you for helping us. You fought bravely. Er... Severa. My name is Severa. It suits you somehow. Oh, and my name... Cordelia. I know. Er, yes, that's... But how did you... I'm sorry, did I introduce myself before? I guess you must have if I know your name. Gods. I see. Well, 
Thank you all the same, Severa. You already said that! And besides, it's not like I did anything special. I was just fighting to get back what's rightfully mine. Are you referring to that ring? Oh, goodness. It looks exactly like... Ah, I see. That would explain how you know my name. You're a friend of Lucina's, aren't you? And you're my child. Isn't that right? I'm lonely. What was that? I SAID I THOUGHT YOU'D BE LONELY, SO I CAME HERE TO SEE YOU! You're welcome. That's very sweet. D don't mock me! You don't care! You don't care at all! How could you possibly think that? I'm thrilled beyond words to meet you. Then why'd you leave me? You said you had to go off to fight for what really mattered, and you never came back! You picked Krom over me! You have me at a disadvantage, Severa. I can't answer for my future self. But when I said I was fighting for what mattered, I probably meant you. I'd want nothing more than to build a world where you could grow up happy and strong. At least, that's what I want right now. You think I don't know that? I mean, I do know that, but... I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother to you. Well, you're still my mother, which makes you the best mother in the world. And the luckiest, it seems. Oh, Mom, I missed you so much. I'm sorry I was so mean. I just... I didn't want to lose you again. Promise me you won't leave, okay? Promise! I promise. Send the new recruits along, then get to the rounding up another half dozen or so. Wait, what are you doing? Just what it looks like. A wyvern rider without a wyvern to sit on is just a bloke in a lizard hat. Wyverns are the sacred protectors of this land, not glorified horses to be muzzled. I'd muzzle you had I the time. As it stands, I'll take a quicker path to quiet. Good night. Uh, but that's... Midnight's line. No, run. Your order, sir. If word spreads, it'll only get more tedious. So, yes, better just kill everyone. Where does this road lead? To Wyvern Valley, my lord. Home to Valm's greatest feral wyvern population. That sounds... interesting. We'll have to be sure and keep our distance. Shame. My Minerva's fit to burst. She's excited others of her kind are near. Oh? She doesn't look that excited to me. Not that I could really tell the difference. Oh, it's easy. She just looks even cuter than normal. Don't you, girl. Don't you look cuter. Who's a good wyvern? I'll, uh, leave you to her then. Sir, over here! Please help! My friends will die if you don't! No. 
What? But sir, my friends! I'm not fit to fight for anyone. Then they're lost. You there, what's happened? My people are fleeing for their lives from a pack of armed brigands, sir. And now we've gotten separated. Oh, the horror of it all. Well, today's your lucky day. We'll aid you and your friends. You will? Oh, thank you. Please, sir, give them what for. Wait, you're not one of the villagers. No, I am Jerome, a traveler. And a fellow wyvern rider, I see. This is a piece of good news. We fight to keep these villagers safe. Will you aid us? Why, no man can stop fate. These people will be killed by spears, traveler, not fate. <laughs> Spoken like the one who has yet to witness fate's implacable cruelty. So you do nothing then, save wandering the land in a fog of cowardice? And your wyvern? Has she seen enough? Does she also yearn to surrender? What can I fix you with? You would know better than I. What does that mean? Nothing. I'll fight if you wish. Death will always have its due, but perhaps it will accept a few substitutions. Come, my dear Minerva. Join me on one final fight. Our saviors! And it's more than lives you rescued! You've saved my hope in humanity too! I thank you for it! Here, sir, a token of my gratitude! Thanks to you as well, friend. Take care now. We'll pray for a safe journey for you and your troops. Do you have a moment? What is it? I was hoping you might introduce me to your wyvern. Why, Vern? To see which of ours is cuter. Not very sporting of me when mine is the finest in the world, I know. Do as you please. I will then, thank you. <laughs> oh, but you are cute. She's nearly a match with Minerva. Nearly so in every way. Wait, what sorcery is this? They... They look identical! That's because they are identical. They're one and the same. M Minerva? How is that possible? You could examine her from tip to tail, looking for scars and marks if you like. Or, you could just look at this ring. I... I know that ring. So then you're... I am. Though I had not intended that we meet. What? Why not? I came back in time so I might release Minerva. Not to seek out parents to whom I've already bidden farewell. You crossed the bounds of time just to set Minerva free? Whatever for? In the future I know, she is among the last of her kind. I... I could not leave her to that solitude. She is lucky indeed to know someone of such kindness. As I imagine, am I. Stay your words. I've no intention of getting close to you. Fate will not be mocked. This war may claim your life anew, and I'll not weep twice for losing the same mother. 
My burden is heavy enough. But yet you carry it still. That's enough! Thank you, Jerome. A mirage village? Or rumors of one at any rate. People claim to have spied a desert village that sometimes appears during sandstorms. Tales speak of a legendary goddess staff that sleeps there, but who can really say? That sounds like it could be helpful. It may be nothing more than idle talk, but it still bears further investigation. Just take care, sir. The sands are home to armed barbarians. Every year sees a few villagers go chasing the myth and finding the grave instead. I'll not stop you, but be sure you're well armed and fully prepared. Here we are, boys, the Golden Oasis. They say the villages around here are filled to bursting with rare treasure. Kick down every door you see. Don't let a single coin slip by. Eureka! It's you! Curious. I have no recollection of making your acquaintance. Though few things are as unreliable as the human memory. Oh, forgive me. I forgot that you have not met me before. My name is Laurent, and you here are you here in search of the Mirage Village? That is my cause, yes. Mine as well, though I fear my efforts thus far yield precious little progress. Still, an excess of evidence exists for the village to be baseless rumor alone. An assumption on your part that... Might I accompany you in your search? I feel certain that your help will be- will lay exposed that which has eluded me alone. Hmm, I worry your hypothesis lacks a certain scientific rigor. And yet, there exists the possibility I am in error on this account. So, yes, you are welcome to join us. Excelsior! I assure you, I'll not be a burden. The battle is won, and the sun is fading. We'd best make tracks. Just what was that place in the end? Something beyond our ken, I suppose. Maybe a small proof of faith, even in the intangible, can still be rewarded? Like faith in a better future, perhaps. <laughs> That's treasure enough for me. Might I have a word? I don't see why not. Tell me honestly, how would you assess my performance? You have certain natural deficiencies, but you compensate for them well. I surmise this is the product of considerable time and effort. Ha! Huh, the best response yet! You're as perspicacious as you are blunt, mother! Mother? Indeed, I am your future progeny. Do you still have concrete evidence? Do you have concrete evidence to substantiate this proposition? I have a ring which is the same as yours, quite literally. Fascinating. It does appear identical. Do two instances of a unique object coexisting constitute sufficient proof? Time travel is one viable hypothesis to explain your rings. 
to explain the rings, but the possibility also exists that you pilfered the ring from said time traveler. As a means of identification, I fear it, incon I fear it inconclusive. As astute cri an astute criticism, I'm uncertain that any truly conclusive case can be mounted to prove my claim. But I intend to spend the rest of my life investigating the matter if necessary. A single-minded pursuit of the truth may be the best proof of my heredity. This is a reasonable assumption. But I'm afraid an un unilateral investigation is hardly credible. Then how should... However, I have no material evidence to suggest you are not, as you claim, my son. Sh I shall conduct an inquiry of my own. We'll investigate the matter until a clear conclusion emerges together. Until then, I will grant the fundamental assumption that you are, in fact, my child. Thank you, mother. God, I literally hate you both. You're so bland and annoying to read for. Alone, are you, lamb? Off searching for dear old mum. How very sweet. But the world's a dangerous place, my dear. Full of wolves waiting to snatch you up. Um, thank you for the warning, sir. B -b but... There's no warning, lamb. I'm the wolf, and you've been snatched. Now come quietly. Scars tend to lower the sale price, and we wouldn't want that. Slavers, my lord. Such despicable scum. We'll have to hurry if we hope to catch them. Or we could stay right here and just let me go to work on them. A curse to wither them away, perhaps? A slow death over a year? Oh, Fee, let's make it two. I think their captive would likely appreciate something a bit more immediate. Shepherds, saving this girl is our top priority. Now move out! It's over. My life is over. Mother, I'll be by your side soon. So this is how it ends. Killed, or worse, a clean death would be a mercy compared to what awaits. Huh? What's this? An old bow? Hmm, this string's still taut. I suppose I could use this to try and fight my way out. But those bandits are so strong and scary and... Oi! My talisman! Let me just grab my talisman and then... I am the fire and the fury! All who defy me will perish! Repent, scum! Repent, though it will save you not! REPENT AND DESPAIR! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Had you not saved me, I... I fear to even think what would have happened. It's alright. Take it easy. No one's going to hurt you now. P please, sir. Let me come with you. There's someone I need to talk to, but I'm um, scared to do it alone. What do you want? I, um, I mean, uh, uh, here, please look at this. Nice ring. Looks just like mine. You messing around with alchemy? Or is this something darker? 
What? No, it's nothing of the sort. It's just... Tell me the truth, girl. You don't want to see what happens if you lie to me. But please, just give me... I need a moment. But please, I... My talisman. Where did I... Where is my talisman? Um... I am blood and thunder! I am a righteous fury! I am your future daughter! You are trying my patience. Insolence! I speak the truth! The ring I bear also hails from the future! A memento of you, my departed mother! And that bizarre talisman... YOUR OWN HANDIWORK! Rot to steal the mewling heart of your coward daughter! In its strength did I find blessed escape from the grief and solitude! Fear of death and killing too, it drove from me until I became an avatar of retribution! Only by clinging to it have I survived the crushing desolation of a ruined future! <laughs> oh, give me that. Um, wait! I need that! What happened to it? I, I, I can't! Survive, you can and will, and not by becoming some avatar of retribution. Just be my daughter. Leave the retribution to me. Mother! My, this is a nasty little number. The future me is good, and very, very bad. <laughs> I can't wait. My mother, you're frightening me again! This little trinket will advance my research in the dark arts nicely. Hmm, you have my blood, right? I'm going to need a bit of it back. I... I... I mean... Bleed me dry and I shall be as thunder still! See, no daughter of mine needs some mummer's prop to be strong. <laughs> oh, this is just wonderful. All right, nah, you can do this. You're strong, you're brave, you. Just, just, just a statue. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, what the heck is that? Wait a minute. This is silly. I could turn into a dragon. What am I worried about? Now, how do I get out of this wretched place? As one. Did anyone else hear a girl scream? Come on, shepherds, hurry! You'll find a way out, Nah. Just keep it together. Oh, you're the little girl we were looking for! It takes one to know one. Haha! <laughs> it may look that way, but I'm actually quite old. I'm a dragonkin! Oh, well, so am I. Actually... Wait, are you Noe? Wow, nice guess! Farewell. It is you! 
Alright, I've told you my name. Now tell me yours. Nah. Oh, come on. Why not? No. Nah. N-A-H. That's my name. That's a confusing name. And whose fault is that? How the heck should I know? Anyway, this place isn't safe. Let's get you out of here. After you. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come, I'd have been an adorable smear on the wall by now. Can you make it home on your own? I don't have a home. Not anymore. Then I'll arrange one for you and the Ulysses. I've got you. No, my place is here with you now. I'm strong enough to fight, you know. Well, seeing as you're a Manichetti, I certainly don't doubt that. Look, if you're sure this is what you want, then we'd love to have you. I'm sure. And thank you. You won't regret it. Can I ask you something, Noe? Does this look familiar? Whoa, you have the same reign as me! What a crazy coincidence! It's not a coincidence. This is your reign. It's a memento of my mother, from the future. It keeps me safe now that, now that you're gone. Nah. No, I'm serious, it does. Huh? Oh, hee <laughs> hee, you did it to yourself that time. But no, I think it's very sweet. And now that you're with me, you don't have to hold back. I wasn't holding back. I fought as hard as I could. No, you fought brilliantly, nah. But that's not what I meant. I was talking about your tears. If you're sad, you can talk to me. No, I... I have to be strong. Everyone expects me to. I can turn into a dragon, you know, and that's not normal. So I have to put on a brave face and protect everyone, just like you do. Your mother cries all the time, dear. All the time. Trust me on this, holding things back won't make you stronger. Just be you, nah. That's enough. I... This whole time, I... I know it's been pretty scary, but you've made it through. Mother, I... Oh, it was awful! I thought I was going to die! <laughs> It's okay, Na. Mother's here now. Oh boy! That was a lot longer than I thought it would take. For the battle and for reading all those paralogues, the fighting is over, my lord. That should spare the villages from any future damage. Good. Though I still don't understand why they had to fight in the first place. Right. Competition, my lord. A sad consequence of this war. Farm the land and your fields are pillaged. Open a shop and your goods are stolen. It's a little wonder men take up the steel and become mercenaries, or worse. There's only so much gold to go around, and so they fight for dominance. Seems they'll still continue to do so until it's safe to be a farmer or a merchant again. All the more reason for us to end things as quickly as possible. Ah. Well put, my lord. Shall we be on our way? Thank you. We're relieved to be rid of the lot of them. No better than brigands they were. You have our thanks, sir. Please accept this. Mm. You're very kind. Thank you. We got a buttload of cash. 
you. You you scared me. Don't go sneaking up behind people. You'll give them whiplash. Hmm. What is your name? <laughs> Yarn, don't you remember? You're the one who gave it to me. Right. So you truly are my child. Mm -hmm. I'm a Togwell, right? I kind of have to be. Well, I suppose blood does not lie. I am pleased to see you, my son. You represent a new hope for our race. Hmm? No pressure there. <laughs> you are living proof that man and Togwell can coexist. Nope. Hey, I didn't do anything special. I was just born. You're the one who proved all that bridge in the gap stuff. You're the one who married a human. Er, uh, thanks for doing that, by the way. Even if I can't take credit for it, I'm proud of my heritage. Right. It gladdens me to see my son value pride. May you keep it always. And with that, we are now acquainted with all the child units, in one way or another at least. No more paralogues in this Let's Play, aside from some other special ones later down the line, but as for the child ones, we are done with those. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we will continue on with the main story and have no more post commentary, I promise. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.